be having Dr. Amanda Apgar, and funny story, we're talking outside, and I feel like this anecdote captures your personality more than the bio, perhaps? It's just so funny, I have to share it. Okay, so her first semester here, Dr. Apgar live-streamed this program that pro showed the progress of pregnancy in a goat family to her class, so the whole semester of her class just followed this mother goat and her, her pregnancy and then it was like a goat family and now that class is forever bonded over the love of goats and I think that's just really beautiful. <laughs> so aside from being an animal lover, Amanda Apgard is an assistant professor in the Department of Women's and Gender Studies. Dr. Apgard works at the intersection of feminist disability studies, childhood studies, and the critical studies of memoir. In her research, Dr. Apgar examines the ways we construct our identity, identities through cultural stories. In the classroom, Dr. Apgard asks students to similarly examine the narratives by which they make sense of their own experiences, and from there to apply these insights to critically encounter the world around them. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Amanda Apgard. don't just fight each other, we go to war. The sex wars, the porn wars, we've taken each other out in the culture wars and the mommy wars. This is not a safe space. The movement itself was born in strife. Was it about abolition, about suffrage, about womanhood? We fought then. One woman's rights was another's colonization. One woman's freedom was short-sighted. We can test our own histories. The whitewashed waves crash over legacies of difference and disagreement. Before we were even a movement, we quit, we split up. Now we knit up pussy hats that are not intersectional enough, not socialist enough, not abolitionist enough, not feminist enough. We have shredded each other. And the, if the critics would have it, we don't even need the patriarchy. We will destroy ourselves. But in sharpening our claws, we have sharpened our critique. The fissures in the feminist movement are not moments of failure, but opportunities for insight. Yes, feminists fight. And in doing so, we don't cancel each other. We come back to the table, expand our capacity for conflict, and articulate more precisely the world we're fighting for. 